guys and welcome to AOR season 9.5 it's a it's a mini season on the F1 2013 so I haven't played this game for a while as you can see a, a quick look at the grid we didn't make uh, any lap time because we disconnected right after the start of the qualifying so we are going to start last on the prime tires um, I didn't put too much practice into this race to be honest but um, you know I did I did some laps on Gip uh, on Grand Prix mode and I actually managed to do a 131.0 on qualifying S so that that's that was actually faster than my than my personal best on time trials so I, I was feeling confident it's a track that I like so I mean what could go wrong really so actually as you can see Falcon second Iceman on pole and us on the last place on the prime tires 11 cars I believe somebody else disconnected so here we go three lights four lights five lights and we are off with massive power and the returning of course and just do a quick right turn to avoid Don Silva get on the inside curve and <laughs> massive confusion up ahead and we are up to third position <laughs> After three corners, we got Wingsman ahead and Philip Daring behind us, and H Pro just knocks the ball out there. But uh, a really good start, actually. Very thankful to the to the confusion there, and Wingsman trying a move around the inside, and we hit him a bit. He broke a bit too early and we were trying to, to get a better exit but uh, into the very tricky corner there into the power the, 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 the difference between these cars and the Formula 1 2014 cars are just massive um, I was really shocked <laughs> when, I, when I picked the game up uh, because the power is just massive I was not used to so many so so much power in the car and the grip is at the same time existence and non-existing it it if you if you exit the corner properly you have amounts of grip grip that can <laughs> make you do the corner faster than anything else and Wigman actually makes a move for the first place and goes wide we get second place yes we do and we are up to second place and H Pro sadly disconnects so that's us on the lead of the race on the second lap after starting on 11th so a good race so far for us we're not doing too bad we are on the prime so that's one more advantage for us uh, just trying to manage now the the gap between us and Wigsman and Jim Bob but at this point I'm feeling quite confident with our pace there uh, the tire wear I don't really know but by what I remembered it wasn't too bad I was I always was uh, very good at tire wear actually so I'm not really worried about it and we got a little slide there it's very easy to for our rear to, to slip excuse me and into the last corner of the second lap taking a bit of wide line there uh, into the rich mix and the Catrum is not in striking range just yet this lap we have the DRS so maybe we not we need to to start worrying about it uh, and we set the fastest lap of the race so far 
which is quite nice for us and our teammate now up to third he was the one he was one of them that at the start uh, just was involved in that massive confusion in the first corner and we get a little corner cut there but nothing really that special and we get a, a bit wide there I'm still getting used to the car and and to the tires and we lock up no and we lost our lead to Wingsman sadly as I, as I told you um, the power is massive on this car but it's very easy to lock up especially in that corner in turn 10 I believe it's really really hard and especially with the prime tires if they are not with enough heat on them it's really easy to lock up and that cost us a, a position but we are going to try to get it back try to get a good exit there not quite but still close enough the RS open now and we are on the limit <laughs> already but we're still trying a move in into the inside braking just on the limit and we get the move done Asman does a 132.4 and that's more than a second and Wigsman comes back at us and a great move from him and we tried to get into the inside but not quite as we were too far away to get a move there but we're just trying not to let him escape oh, another walk up there uh, and just <laughs> our rear just going to flip in China and coming back this time not locking up trying to get a good exit which we do slightly and getting the DRS but way far behind Wingsman to try anything into turn 11 it's it's been uh, it, it's lo it looks like we have a promising race up ahead and breaking a little late locking up again we are we are going to lock up a lot of times on this game until we get used to but as you can see still one second ahead of Falcon and trying to get the DRS again a better exit this time but still a bit too far from Wingsman and our top speed is nothing that great so we reach here on the limiter yet and trying to get another move onto the inside this time bringing really early give him space to to defend and he does and we go really wide there and we lose another position to Falcon this time we are starting to struggle in some corners <laughs> to get a, a grip and <laughs> we actually tried something there around the outside but uh, just close the door and we are we have nowhere to go but still our main goal is to try to keep with these guys since they are on the options and we are on the primes but uh, very close there Falcon and Wingsman we have DRS again so does he so we don't have an opportunity at this time to get an overtake but let's see what Falcon can do, can do with Wingsman at the main straight it will be really interesting actually there's a, a very good fight going going on here and Iceman that was on pole is getting closer to us also and this could be a, a four-way fight to the win which would be excellent for a first race of the championship and we try to get a good exit and Falcon is going to the pits yes he's going to the pits already if lap f end of lap 5 and he's already into the pits so very early stop and Iceman 2 and Jimbo so everyone pitting really early there and Wings Wingsman is the only one to stay out from the top runners which I, I found really curious about but still we're trying to, to, overtake, to overtake him and it's not easy because 
uh, as I said, he, he drives very well and despite his options being worn, uh, our primes are not in a good c condition a anymore. We are pushing really hard for them, so we are almost in equal circumstances. I'm trying to get a good accident, and we actually do, but he can defend well with the cars. As, as I found out, the curse, there's a massive difference in this game because we can protect ourselves much better and we actually get around the outside there. Wingsman is still on the inside, we are on, on the outside and we can't do much about it but we have a good exit and we use a bit of curse and we are on to the, on the inside to the last corner and we get the position, yes we do do and we get a good exit as well but I believe Wingsman is going to the pits yes he is he doesn't want to lose too much time on those worn tires and now we are alone on the track leading the race moving on to the fourth corner now in the lap 7 now actually moving on to lap uh, Eight, I believe into the fourth corner again and we actually tried we do a little bit of a mistake there and we almost spun thanks to the bollard and we lose a lot of time there it's a really unfortunate mistake and we cut the corner trying to recover as much time as we can but uh, there's nothing we can do now because they are way faster now and we jump on to the end of lap 8 to the pit lane we're going to, to fit the option tires to go to the end and now it's just trying to to get the other guys and to see if we can recover any position and wingsman goes through and we are we get out on p4 which is not bad but uh, we're try we're trying to get a better position now moving on to lap 10 we are closing in on wingsman and get a, f a very good run at the first corner actually and iceman just puts a 131.7 i think it's a very fast lap there and once again we do the corner very nicely we're just hitting the apexes doing all the stuff we need we go purple on the first sector and a bit over the gobble oh, jesus christ those curves and we lose a, a bit of time to wingsman not too much but we lose time once again and it's not going well for us at the moment moving on to lap 11 we're closing in again to wingsman and actually the difference is below one second very below and we <laughs> hit another baller and we are out of track almost a 360 there and we're still fourth but Jim Bob is coming is much faster now since we had to, to make a, a start basically and we're still ahead using all the cars we have to defend but I believe he has DRS, yes he is mo less than a second behind, he's closing in, can he move, make a move? No, he doesn't make a move there, so we're still P4 in the race. And moving on to the end of the last lap, as you can see we're closing in but not fast enough and Wingsman does a mistake at the last corner and now we're going up to p3 yes we are and we <laughs> we get back to the podium position and this is going to be an emphatic last lap because wingsman doesn't and we lock up at the first corner and go wide wingsman goes through while while james is not close and wingsman is mistake and we are up the inside into turn four can we maintain the position breaking a little later doing the corner nicely and wingsman is on the inside can 
and he's on the inside we are in the outside leaving enough space for him to drive but he doesn't try a move there into the airpin we still p3 and now we just have to to do it clean not make any mistakes especially in this turn 10 and we do do not make a mistake we can do pretty nicely the turn the corner he has the rs but we have a good exit and into turn 11 i believe and we're still on on the front of this pack just three corners to go now two we're half half, half a second ahead of wingsman but i think we just managed to do iceman wins the race but we're still trying to get our third position we got a, a good exit yes we do and wingsman loses time and we get our first podium in this season great results for for us then uh sadly we, are, we had one disconnection but beside that everyone finished that's 10 runners and we got a fantastic podium and this was the first race the second race will be in the description below so check that out and i'll see you guys next time bye bye